So yesterday I ended up making something cool. Uh, I pulled pretty much every single SVG icon out of Google's material UI into a Power BI file that you can load that I will share with you uh, at the end of this video. So yesterday I was looking at how to build out a custom Power BI theme and I was going to make a video on it for one of you. Um, and I got distracted by the icon packs that you can embed in themes. And I started looking at, uh, at like some cool icons I could put in my theme. And I stumbled upon uh, Google's Material UI. Microsoft has one as well. But um, Google's is really nice and searchable. And I was like scrolling through all these icons and I was like, you know, it would be really cool if we could embed all of these icons in the Power BI file. Because I, I bet you, like, like if all these are SVG, SVGs are pretty small. And so I would be willing to bet that you could embed pretty much all of these into a single CSV and load the CSV. So I went to their GitHub and I checked out their license. And their license is an Apache 2.0 license which if you Google Apache 2.0 license commercial use, it's permissible. Um, you don't have, you have complete freedom to access and modify them, so we're good there. And then I looked at the size of this repo and it's really big. Well, actually I didn't look at the size, I tried to download it. It's like, it's in the gigs. So that wasn't gonna happen. But then I scrolled down and I find that found this material design uh, SVG. And when I click into this, in here, they have just the SVG files. It's not all of them, but it's a good 2,000 SVGs from Google's material UI, um, a little bit more. And I went ahead and I downloaded them. And when I downloaded them, I got an extract that then I could go in and if I go in and look in here we have if we go into the SVG folder all of these SVGs and if you look they're really really small so I needed a way to load all of these SVGs in one single place into Power BI so I whipped out some Python here and <laughs> I'm going to be honest I'm not the best with Python. So this is probably could be a little bit dirty, but I'll walk you through what I did. First, I fed it the path of where the SVG icons are that I wanted to load. Then I gave it the prefix that will tell Power BI what an image URL is. So in this case, it's an SVG, so I'm giving it the SVG prefix. I then created an empty data frame with two, two string columns, icon name and icon image URL. Then with that path for every single file, I then took the file name, um, stripped out the .svg, replaced the underscores of spaces, and title cased it. I then read the SVG context. I then inserted in a uh, current color piece into the path, which should allow us to manipulate the color on some of them. Not all of them, but it should. And then I appended that icon for every single file onto the array which then um, finally I exported out to a path. So you might be wondering, well, what did that give you? And the answer is this, ta-da. It is a CSV of 2,123 SVG icons that are free to use for commercial use that if you look at the properties is less than one megabyte. So how do you use that in Power BI? Well, you can just frankly load the CSV. So that's what I did. I loaded the CSV, promoted headers, of course, you gotta do that. Then I went down and I told the image, I, I set the data category to image URL and then I also created a measure that basically is just taking the max here of whatever I set. And now, if I ever want an icon, I can scroll through Google's UI, right? So I can be like, oh, what, you know, what does 
Do they have a snowmobile? And again, like my data set doesn't have all these, but it has a good majority of them. So like if I go down here and I'm saying, do we have snow? There's a snowmobile, right? I can now go here, select that, copy it. All right, I can go now back into my icon and I can go, okay, give me snowmobile. And just like that, I now have an SVG icon of a snowmobile. Now you might be like, oh, well, that's really small in your card. Don't worry. You can just increase the pics, right? So I can make, I now have large snowmobile, right? And then you're like, oh, well, I don't want it in black. Well, that's where you can use the substitute video or the substitute function. So you can go substitute, right? And then my text is going to be the SVG, my old text, right? And then I can insert it in my hex. And if we go over to my old text, if you notice, I'm inserting in current color, right? And I can go right there. And then I can go current color or hex color. We'll go hex color, right? And I can go here and I can be like, oh, I want my snowmobile to be, maybe I want it to be lavender, you know? And I can grab it here and I can replace it like that. And now I've got a lavender snowmobile. So this is 2,000 icons in a single CSV. It's less than a megabyte that you can load into your data model and use for commercial use. Like, how, how cool is that? Anyway, I this got me really excited, probably more excited than it should have. But if you're interested in learning about more cool things like this and kind of following me along as I go through some of these adventures, um, please subscribe. And if you're interested in having me make a, make a video um, on a particular topic, let me know in the comments. And I might get distracted while making a video for you and come out with something unrelated, but that I hope you find equally as cool. Thanks for watching. Oh, also, uh, you can download this CSV at my GitHub. I'll, I'll link in the description. So, yeah, thanks.